As Israel's war against Hamas escalates, there's a growing risk that the global economy could enter a recession. Hamas says it receives support from Iran for the attacks, and that could mean US retaliation against Tehran. It's when and if that conflict becomes a broader conflict, multi-nation, multi-country conflict, that has the potential to certainly derail markets. Iranian oil exports have risen in recent years, filling a void that was left after Russia's invasion of Ukraine and under what some argue is a softer approach to sanctions under the Biden administration. Iran is also accused by a watchdog group of making about 80 billion US dollars in illicit oil sales since Biden took office. The majority of Iran's people don't support the regime and want the US to take a stronger stance. Iranians themselves have been risking their lives for freedom after a global movement sparked by the death in custody of Masa Amini more than one year ago. If the war spreads further and Washington imposes tougher restrictions, Iranian oil production of more than 3 million barrels a day could come under pressure. There's also a risk that Iran itself could disrupt the flow of oil through the Strait of Hormuz. This critical waterway separates the Persian Gulf from the Arabian Sea, and about 20% of the world's oil is shipped through here. If Iran's oil supply is cut, a key question is whether Saudi Arabia may help fill the gap. It's a key producer that forms part of the OPEC oil producing nations and earlier this year cut production by one million barrels a day. If the uh, sanctions on Iran are, are, are toughened and uh, there's no other alternative supply coming uh, through countries such as Saudi Arabia, oil prices could easily sail through $100. That's going to add to inflation pressure globally. It's going to add to pressure on central banks to keep raising interest rates um, and uh, add, to, add to the risk of a global recession. If tensions continue to escalate, we could be in for a long period of economic uncertainty. Higher fuel prices are already squeezing Vanessa Town's homeware business. She used to offer free delivery for online orders, but now she charges a fee. It's extremely hard for us uh, as a small business to basically absorb the cost now. I have to charge a fee like $15 within the 15 kilometer radian to the customer, which have impacted greatly in terms of our business turnover. Um, customer are thinking twice. When the Middle East war broke out, oil prices rose about 4%. Commodity analysts say if it escalates, prices could rise above 100 US dollars a barrel. If we start seeing the US point the finger at Iran, we could see Iran's oil exports start falling. And that is where we could see a sustainable oil price premium baked in on the back of this conflict. And falling by about 0.5 to 1 million barrels a day, equivalent to about 0.5 to 1% of global supply. Across the country, petrol prices have averaged more than $2 a litre. Diesel prices are even higher at $2.23 a litre. It's really killing prices at the moment. Have to like live very on budget, very on budget. Experts say Australians could be in for more pain at the pump just before Christmas. The oil prices that we're talking about now relate to what we call the December contract price. That oil will go into a global refinery, it'll then be refined into petrol and diesel, and we probably won't see that product in the country until late December, early January. It's another blow to households already struggling with cost of living pressures. Independent MP Dai Li is calling for action from the federal government. If we're expecting petrol prices to increase due to the conflict in the Middle East, then this is the right time to really bring on the fuel excise tax cut for families, working Australian families. Higher fuel costs will push up inflation, and Australians might expect to pay even higher prices as fuel is used in many parts of the economy. Some economists say that may concern the Reserve Bank, which could come under pressure to consider another interest rate hike.
Vanessa Tan also wants the federal government to help small businesses like hers by cutting a few excise. If the petrol price keep on increasing, instead of um, charging $15, we might have to consider charge about $20 or even up to $50, depending on what the price is in the future. Raising prices when many Australians are already stretched.